into a dangerous spot. Rossi, they want a handball. It's given! Penalty for the crew! Oh boy, that is extremely close. Welcome to the final instant replay of the year, MLS Cup Edition. I'm your host, Andrew Wiebe, and as always, we're taking a closer look at the most controversial calls in Major League Soccer. Oh, and what a final it was in Columbus as the crew edged LAFC 2-1 with four big decisions from referee Armando Villarreal and his crew to take a closer look at. We start in the 31st minute. Villarreal is perfectly positioned on the edge of the 18-yard box as the crew are building toward the LAFC goal. Diego Rossi wins the ball, attempts to flick it up over LAFC defender Diego Palacios, and the ball hits chest and then hand. Villarreal points to the spot, penalty. VAR Kevin Stott checks the play, check complete, the call on the field stands. LAFC don't like it, but for me, this is the correct decision. The key context here is whether or not Palacios' arm was in an unnatural position. For me, yes, you see it extended and out. Secondly, you might be wondering, okay, Weeby, but the ball hit him in the chest before hitting the hand. Wasn't there specific language in the handball law that would say this is not a handball? Well, there was a few years ago, but there no longer is. In this case, Palacios, by having his hand or arm in such a position, takes the risk of that hand or arm being hit by the ball and being penalized. Thus, this is a handball and a penalty. To the 49th minute we go. Cucho Hernandez again, this time on the sideline. Carlos Vela defending and putting in what looks like a pretty ugly tackle. Cucho launches himself in the air, does a few barrel rolls, and clearly he's thinking, hey, Villarreal, that might be serious foul play. The referee allows play to continue and comes back and gives a yellow card to Carlos Vela. I agree with that decision. Initially, I thought it was the tucked leg of Vela that causes the contact. That would be a clear yellow card for me, but in fact, it is the straight leg of Vela that barely catches the upper ankle of Hernandez. For me, it's the degree of contact that makes this a yellow card. I agree with Villarreal. Caution for me is the correct decision. All right, let's take a look at a couple fouls by Timothy Tillman. He was playing on the edge in this match. The first on Darlington Nagby is one of many on the crew defensive midfielder in this game. Villarreal calls a foul in this situation, but when Tillman comes back for another bite on Nagby, yet again, out comes the yellow card. This is for persistent infringement, not by Tillman individually, but by LAFC targeting Darlington Nagby. You can see Villarreal point all over the field. These fouls on Nagby are what adds up to this yellow on Timothy Tillman. Then, in the 59th minute, the big decision from Villarreal. Tillman goes in on Diego Rossi, Rossi goes down acrobatically, and the entire crew team gathers around the referee, all wondering, is this a second yellow and a red card? Villarreal does not pull the caution. Just a foul, he says, and I agree with that decision. Pay no attention to the way Rossi reacts. Look for the contact from Tillman on this play. On the original tackle, I see both players getting a piece of the ball. It might look bad based on the reaction of the crew player, but the only real contact I see is the body of Tillman as he falls down, hitting the back calf of Rossi. For me, that does not rise to the level of a caution. Good job, in my opinion, by Villarreal for keeping his cool and helping both teams cool down as well. One more play from this match. It's 2-1 crew in second half stoppage time. Christian Ramirez is steaming toward the LFC penalty area with Jesus Murillo in hot pursuit. Ramirez goes down, the ball squirts through, Kevin Molino gets to the ball, takes a touch, but he goes down as well under pressure from Sergi Palencia. Armando Villarreal takes a look at all of this and waves his finger. No sir, no foul, play on. So let's take a look at all of this. For me, that is a foul on Christian Ramirez just outside the 18-yard box. You see the contact from Rio. For me, that is a foul. But the important context is it's not inside the 18-yard box. Therefore, it's not eligible for review. Now, as for the contact between Molino and Palencia, up top, that's a 50-50 challenge, folks. It's shoulder to shoulder. On that contact alone, never a foul for me. But I'm watching very closely both players' right legs. Watch how Palencia, as he enters into the challenge, lunges his foot out. That, for me, is not a regular running gait. He cuts across Molino and initiates, in my opinion, contact with Molino's right leg. The debate is, what part of the contact brings Molino down? Is it just a 50-50 and he's not strong enough? Or does Palencia trip him? I gotta say, my penalty alarm bells were ringing on this play. And I would not have argued if it was called. But it all comes down to one thing. 
in the opinion of the referee. I understand how looking at this play, Villarreal could say, no, not enough for me. And I don't think Kevin Stock can review this play because it's just too subjective. In the end, for me, given the contact between the legs that I think the defender initiates, I would have called the penalty. But it's a subjective call, and I understand why Villarreal didn't. All right, that's it for us for Instant Replay for 2023. Huge thank you to everyone who watches the show, engages in the comment section, and sends us plays to review. I met a number of you in Columbus, and I cannot thank you enough for being a part of our community. And huge congratulations to the referee crew who took the field for MLS Cup. It is a earned and deserved honor. Referee Armando Villarreal, ARs Cameron Blanchard and Ian McKay, fourth official John Freeman, VAR Kevin Stott, and assistant VAR TJ Zablocki. Congratulations and well-deserved. And the biggest thanks goes to my producer, Rich Hernandez, who I always argue with, but ultimately respect in the end. And my editor, Phil Lavanco, who makes me look, let's be honest, as good as I possibly can. Thank you so much, Phil. I'm Andrew Wiebe, and you know how this one ends. We'll see you next time.